What are you doing? Cracking eggs. Cracking eggs? Yeah. So why do you put them in the little bowl first? Because you don't want any shell in it. You don't want any shell in it, that's right. And also, that keeps it, if we somehow got a bad egg, because that happens on a farm sometimes, we have put it in the little bowl instead of in the big bowl. Because if you crack a bad egg in this, you lose all of them. But if you crack it in a little bowl, you know it's bad and you don't lose anything, right? What do you, how do you know when it's bad? Oh, you know. They smell real bad. It's only happened to me once, but once is enough to change a woman. Got Nana over here making pancakes for all these babies. And got this beautiful right here. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. <laughs> you loving on Brucey? Yeah. Hey, Brucey. <laughs> you want to go outside with me? Yeah. Let's go check on the farm. Yeah. You want to go, Bear? Come on, Brucey. Ready to go outside? Mm hmm Oh, I love fall. It's so good. So, Malia got here yesterday. She's here from Vegas where she lives with her mom and stepdad most of the year. And then of course she visits that time. We usually don't get her in the school year, but they're doing school at home. And so uh, she was able to come visit us this weekend uh, for a little extended weekend. Because Nana and Poppy are here for a little while longer, uh, just about a week. And Malia came in to be able to see them and to paint the mural. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Nana is a wonderful artist, and you guys have seen that recently, but Malia is also a very gifted artist as well and loves to paint, so we thought it would be really cool to have them work on that together. <laughs> so, it's going to be really good for a great-grandmother and a great-granddaughter to paint something together. So, what are you getting ready to do, Maya? I'm going to prime everything. You're going to prime everything? Mm -hmm. Preparing for the painting day? Mm -hmm. So the paint sticks. Yeah. Uh, we were going to do it over the summer, but we didn't make the time for it. Yeah. So. And now the bees really need to be moved. Yeah. So I was like, we got to get it done. <laughs> so now I'm just taking Malia around to see all the stuff on the farm that she hasn't seen for a few months. Yeah. A lot changes in a little while. Not a whole lot's different, I don't think, from the last Not time. Not this time, but it's only been a usually, couple months. This usually time. she comes and it's like completely different. different. <laughs> but we, we're slowing down on projects. <laughs> So here's all the La Mancha goats over here, and they're in with the buck, Ross Pold Poldark. So we'll have lots of babies from them. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Hey, girls. So this will be different than the last time you were here. Because last time you were here, it was all tomatoes. We also put a door in the back. I actually need to turn the water off. I had it on in here. Look at all of these sprouts and how quick they're growing. Gosh, these Chinese cabbages are getting really big really fast. Check these things out. I think it's actually time to start harvesting some kale. We should probably start eating on this. We got pea plants back here. Those are all broccolis right there. Looking good. Yep, cauliflower too. Yay. <laughs> good, good eye. Look here, there's tomato plants like growing out of every little, oh little nook and cranny. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tomato plant. It's growing from that soil at the bottom of the bed. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I, did. I thought that was just like a... They're all over. Like, here's one on the bottom. There's like multiple coming out from the bottom over here. They're funny. Tenacious little guys. Are we going to have tomatoes down there? There is <laughs> I don't water. think we're going to have tomatoes. I don't, I don't know how warm it's going to stay in here. I thought I'd let them go to see what happens. Ben, you get so excited over tomatoes, don't you? So we're on pig watch here <clears throat> watching these girls because they are getting really close to having babies hey mamas i don't know i really hope they'll have their babies while you're here that would be great we've only had two farrowings in the fat past and we really aim for these things to happen in the fall malia's not usually here in the fall so i think it would be really awesome <laughs> if we could have baby pigs while she's here because she's not not gotten to experience that yet i've Come when we had piglets, but they right. were like baby babies. Yeah, they were like a couple months yeah. old, I think. Look at these big girls. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, Clementine. Mm -hmm. And here's Miss Fanny. I was hoping they'd turn around and let me look at their backsides. Their their teeth look really swollen, but last time I was able to tell they were really close by how they looked from behind. I can't get over how tall these corn stalks are. 
I just now looked at the corn because I was looking at the flowers. I didn't mm. even realize it's the corn. Wild. A drone. Oh, this is funny. So I've been calling this my two bereaved sisters and a cousin garden because it's supposed to be three sisters but my squash dad and we planted sunflowers. But look at this. This is like a weed that's growing next to here and the beans have climbed the weed instead of just the corn. So what does that make this? Like two bereaved sisters and a cousin and an unwelcome neighbor. <laughs> No, that's funny. Maybe it's like a stray pet. <laughs> there you go, a stray pet. That's hilarious. Well, it's here now. I'm not going to tear it out with a bean plant on it. One of my to-do lists for the week is actually to take this off, clean the weeds out, throw some more compost down, and I'm actually going to plant this entire row with garlic. Oh, yay. That was fun to pick. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's getting started. Yeah, we've actually used almost all of that garlic that we grew, that we harvested. That was a lot. We've used all the onions. Malia's here when we harvested a lot of garlic and onions, but it wasn't enough. So I'm growing way more this year. I make some more pickles for me. More pickles? I love pickle I can do that. I've been Look at really into pickled peppers. Oh, I like pickled peppers. Like when I'm falling asleep during school, I'll just go downstairs and get a spicy pepper and eat it, <laughs> so I stay awake. It's better than a shot of espresso, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? What kind of flowers are these? These are sunflowers. It's just some variety. I'm not sure. It's some It's some hybrid. I need to look at the packages and see if I can figure out what's what. I can touch them because they're so pretty. They're, they're very, very pretty. I, look, I can see them all the way from the sink when I'm standing at the kitchen sink. Yeah, I can see them from the window. Yeah, I can look out here and see these. They're so bright and beautiful. That'd be really fun to take pictures of. Yeah. So I just pulled one of these Japonica ears of corn off. Um, it looks like it could be done. The stalks have turned brown. The, I mean, the silks have turned brown, and the stalks are kind of browning. And these were these were turned away, so they grow like really upright, like this, and then they start to turn away like this whenever they're ready to be harvested. Kind of point out. Oh well, there we go. Look at that. Now the rest of these I'm going to leave on and harvest them to be dried, but I just wanted to see. That is really cool. Look how pretty that is. That, that looks like wine. Like the color it does. Wine. It does. It's very... The inside's not. Look. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. The inside of these kernels is like yellow. Hmm. Oh, that's not a good thing to do. <laughs> So let me do it again. <laughs> it's just like when we took the bite of the onion. Yeah. It doesn't taste like that much. That's really neat though. Beautiful. Look at the leaves of these. They look like a house plant. Yeah, they're variegated. Japonica. One of the things that Malia and I usually do, I guess we're not going to get to do it on this trip. Yeah. We didn't get to do it this summer because everything was closed obviously, but we love thrift shopping. <laughs> yeah, we do. One of the things that I was going to answer, I get this question a lot, and so I touch on it every once in a while. Um, I talk about thrifting a little bit, and Malia is my <laughs> my little progeny <laughs> when it comes to clearance shopping and thrift shopping because it's so fun. I mean, we've always called it treasure hunting. We love to go buy things secondhand. It, it comes up a lot, actually, when you talk about homesteading. And thrifting, I think, is a is a really big part of homesteading. Now, not necessarily because you're like us and you just like fashion. I really, and I like clothes. But what has like really led me deeper into thrifting is the, is the fact that I really like to ethically source things. And so to me, the most sustainable way of doing things is to thrift when you can. And also, if you, if you need to spend less money, then, um, you can earn less money and, and when we first moved out to our farm like one of our big efforts was to cut down our costs as much as possible and so thrifting was one of the ways that we did that so today um because i do get asked so much about clothes and because malia's here we were talking about this <laughs> um i wanted to tell you two of the places that i buy a lot of my thrifted clothes one is ebay um i just shop on ebay and find brands that work for me and that i know fit and shop for things it's funny i bought a sweater the other day and it came with a card 
uh, from someone that was like, I couldn't believe that this was you. I'm a big fan of your channel. So you bought something? <laughs> I was like, that's so cool. The other one is Thread Up, and I've shared Thread Up with you guys before. Malia came and she was telling me that that's where she like got all her clothes this year. She was telling me that she bought, actually she got the shirt she's wearing for Thread Up. That's what <laughs> yeah. started the conversation. And I was like, well, we should share that with my viewers. I'm gonna put Malia's referral link down below that if you use it, you can get a discount and she'll get a kickback and she'll get to do even more shopping, <laughs> which makes this pretty girl super happy. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so why, why do you like, why do you like thrifting? What's your favorite thing about that? It's not like everything else that's in the stores. Like yeah. it's not going to be what's trendy. It's going to be what you want. Yeah. It's really not going to have things. Why yes, there's a pan of chili simmering on the stove. <laughs> Look at that happy face. Look at that. I thought of you and everything. Oh, it's getting dark out here. I played soccer my way here. You played soccer on your way here? Is that your ball? Yeah, that's what we got. It's like a breakfast. Oh, yeah. Hello, birds. Yeah, they got a lot bigger from the summer, huh? Yeah. Oh, Ben the chicken wrangler, always grabbing a chicken. <laughs> this one's a sati. Manny, can you say hi to Malia? Daddy already got the eggs. Manny's adorable. Looks like Manny got in the creek. Bear, you better quit, you're gonna get spit on. You fixed it? Hercules, Hercules. Now we have to go live in six down? minutes. Are you painting the bottom part, like the little wall? I don't think so. The bottom part. Like this little no. barrier? I didn't think you were. Okay. I have to pull it out. <laughs> Is that you're excited to paint a mural dance? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go inside and feed the kids dinner, okay? Okay. We gotta go uh, live. I'll probably just paint this after the live. Okay. Set a light up. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Yep. And you guys will see Nana and Malia painting this here in a couple days. Come on, Benny. Let's go eat dinner. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Even though this was a short video, um, we have lots of fun stuff coming up this week, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. God bless you guys. Until next time.